Good evening, good people. This is Minister Chandra here on Facebook Shine, talking about the now factor, whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. I'm grateful to be with you on tonight. Just wanted to uh, plug in with you this evening to share uh, a little bit of uh, encouragement, uh, share a little bit of instruction, you know, from God, what he gave me, share, you know, some, just some motivation and inspiration to, you know, to push forward towards something that will, you know, will benefit your spirit. Glory to God. It's October the 12th, Monday evening. And I'm grateful unto him that he has allowed us to be here once again through the midst of all the chaos and the confusion that we're facing as a nation. We are still here and we're totally grateful. I just want to have a word of prayer with you one minute here before God will have his way because we want him to have his way on tonight. And we do not want to prolong the time. And I, want, I don't want to keep you. Glory to God. I know you have things to do just as well as myself, but we want to do what God has told us to do. So we could shine, so men may see our good works, and glorify him, our Father, which is in heaven. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for your love, your support. We thank you for your patience with us, oh God. Bringing us, glory to God, to an expected end. You said you know the thoughts and the plans you have for our lives. Glory to God. And it is it's to bring us to an expected end. So we thank you for that expected end. We thank you for just for the covenant that you have with us. Glory to God. Being able to lead and guide us into all truth. Lead and guide us into our purpose and to our destiny. Father, we asking you to speak on tonight. Have your way on tonight. Encourage on tonight. Inspire on tonight. Motivate on tonight. Glory to God for your people to move in action according to Glory to God, their purpose and their destiny. And Father, we thank you. Glory to God in your son Jesus' name. Glory to God. We want to acknowledge him. Glory to God in all that we do. Remember, we're talking about the now factor. Whatever we'll do for him, whatever we're going to do for him, we got to do it now. And whatever we're doing for him right now, we have to stand in obedience Glory to God and to do just what he said to do. Glory to God. So I have a story, a quick story for you. I want to share with you, glory to God, that uh, that happened on my job. And, and those of you that follow me, you hear me talking about uh, how God deal with me on my job, how I'm always, you know, scribbling and scrabbling. Glory to God. And he'll give me, you know, things to share with you just like on tonight. I am in a leadership position on my job. And, um, you know, this particular day, uh, I was going forth and, uh, you know, handling the assignment that was given unto me. And as I handle that assignment and as I operate in that lead position on this particular day, I would try to give instructions, you know, to the people, trying to let them know, you know, what management said, try to let them know what our lead coordinators have said, you know, that, that give me instruction on what, you know, to tell the people and how to deal with the people. So I, I am in the midst of, you know, communicating with people and I go and I, I speak to a young man based upon an instruction that was given to me. So I have to follow leadership. I want to tell somebody right now, if you, glory to God, cannot follow leadership, you could never be a leader. Glory to God. To be a leader, you must follow. That could be in a ministry, that could be in a business, you know, that could be on your job, anywhere, you know, even in your home. Glory to God, you have to receive instructions from somebody that gives you the ability to lead. So I'm, I'm speaking to this young man, trying to give him instructions that was given to me on my job. And he rapped back at me like it was my instruction. And he refused and such, you know, to follow. So I kept, you know, being the person that I am, you know, I'm smiling and I'm saying, okay, well, thank you and have a good day. He was so upset. I was trying to set order in that lead position that was given to me. And no matter what, the associate may say, I have to follow leadership and I have to give the instructions that was given to me. So I thought to myself, I said, God, I said, people don't like order. Hallelujah. All I was trying to give him is an order that was given to me through management, okay, through my leads and he didn't want to follow the order. He got upset. Almost just, you know, uh, cussed me out if he could have cussed me out. But I, I smiled at him and I said, and have a good day. So again, I said, God, 
people do not want order. And I start scribbling and scrabbling, okay, on my paper. And, and God gave it to me. We're going to talk about order on tonight. And, and he said to me, most people don't like order. Our children don't like order. I want chips before dinner. You can't have no chips. They're kicking and screaming. Okay, God tell you what you ain't ready for, and He tell you no. You think it's the end of the world. You think it's uh, it's a it's a it won't happen. But it may just be at that particular time, and we what kicking and screaming. Okay, thinking that He's not going to move for us. So again, I, God told me most people don't like order. Okay, and as a result, when we don't receive order, glory to God, Hallelujah, Joyce. I hear you. You write about it. You would write about it as well because you know what I'm talking about. As a result, we have chaos and we have confusion. Glory to God. So when God gave me that word order, I began to write my notes, you know, and then I came up with a live. God gave me a live just to share with you on tonight. So we want to just, first of all, dissect that word order. The arrangement or disposition of people and things in relation to each other according to a particular sequence, pattern, or method. I'll repeat that one more time. Order is the arrangement or a disposition of people and things in relation to each other according to a particular sequence, pattern, or method. What got me was uh, the relation. The relation to each other, what according to a particular sequence, pattern, or method. That one word also, what got me is disposition. Have you ever met anybody with a bad disposition? They character. I mentioned this on my last live, those who were joined in with me. But a bad disposition and a bad character will get you nowhere. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My mentor used to always tell me about my disposition when I was learning in ministry, when I was, uh, when my flesh was dying, when I came in straight from the club, okay, straight doing my own thing. I didn't want to hear and I didn't want to listen to order. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. I'm giving it to you straight. She told me, she said, you, you got a bad disposition. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm talking about the disposition of people. Glory to God. Like I was telling you about that young man didn't, didn't want to receive the instruction that was given to me through leadership, okay, to give to him. Also, there is another uh, 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 definition that I want to share with you. Two others. One is a authoritative command, direction, or instruction. <laughs> Don't nobody like authority. <laughs> Don't nobody like authority. Glory to God. I'm not talking about being rude, but I'm talking about speaking with authority, acting out in authority and boldness. Glory to God in the position that God has called you in. So again, I told you there was a, a position that I were in on the job uh, based upon leadership, which I was asked to be in that position. I never asked for it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But again, authority. I came with him. And in, in, in authority and with authority to command and say, this is what they want us to do. But he didn't want to follow. He got upset. Glory to God. Direction and instruction. That third definition I want to share with you, request to be made. It was, it was a request that was asked of me. Chandra, can you do this? Yes. I told lead management. Yes, I can do this. Glory to God. It was a request that was asked of me to do. And I, and I act out in it, supplied or served. Let me say, talk about serving real quick. Just a, a couple of seconds here. A lot of times we get, in, we get in places, allow ourselves to be a little bit higher than what God really put us at. Glory to God and think that we don't have to serve. Now, since I come from a, 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 a church background, you know, I know everyone don't come from a church background. Don't get me wrong. But remember, I mentioned a job. I mentioned a business. You know, you have to serve on your job. You have to serve in the business. But a lot of people don't want to serve in order to get to where they have to go. We're talking about order. Glory to God. So therefore, we can shine. So men may see our good works. And glorify our Father which is in heaven. We're talking about that now factor. Whatever we're going to do for Christ, let's do it now. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now listen, if you go to Genesis 1 and 1, somebody may be talking about, well, where's your scripture? Now remember, shine is based upon the spiritual background. Shine is based on the foundation of Christ himself. Remember, whatever we're going to do for Christ, we're doing it now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So if you go to the book of the Bible, Genesis 1 and 1, you'll see a sequence of order. Okay, when God began to create heaven and earth, he it, it shape, he shaped heaven and earth, he formed heaven and earth, and he gave it a function. It sounds like purpose and destiny to me, <laughs> which is my motto. Glory to God. That thing, whatever we're doing for Christ, we're talking about our purpose and we're talking about our destiny. God gives us gifts and talents. Glory to God to glorify him. Glory to God, while we're here on earth, he gives us those gifts and he gives us those talents to function in them. But a lot of times, let me just be honest with you, we sit on them. We are afraid to walk out in faith. Why? Because of what people may say, what people may think, how we may look to somebody else. But how about we worry about how we're looking to God? How about that? Glory to God. How about that? Glory to God. So again, he gave earth and heaven a function. Also, if you go to Genesis, the sixth chapter, 13 verse through the 22nd verse, you see, you see also the order in which Noah builds an ark. Most of us know the, the Noah, the ark. We, we heard of it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God gave him Pacific instructions. Somebody ought to type Pacific instructions. God gave Noah Pacific instructions instructions on how to build the ark. And a lot of times, glory to God, when God give us specific instructions on how to do a thing, sometimes we don't follow that sequence of order and we wonder why we end up in the place where God haven't intended us to be. Now I've been there and that's why I can share with you and encourage you to follow the instructions of God. Hallelujah. Follow the instructions of God. Yes, sis, Lakeisha, Pacific instructions. And when you see both passages, excuse, excuse my dog, excuse my dog, but we're going to continue. Glory to God. When you see both passages of scripture, you see again a sequence of order. Glory to God. And when we follow order, as mentioned before, we're talking about what? A pattern, okay? A method or a strategy, a command, an instruction, amen, a direction or request, okay? And what is uh, revealed, okay, once again, when we follow order is one, life. This hit home to me. Follow me. Remember I gave you Genesis 1 and 1? God gave life to avoid space. Remember, if you read, and I want to encourage you, read your word on your own. Do not believe anything I tell you. <laughs> Genesis 1 and 1. It talks about <laughs> God making heaven and earth, and the earth was without form and void. So, again, God gave life to avoid space. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. I want to tell somebody. Glory to God. I'm trying to quiet my dog down, but we're not going to be distracted. I want to tell somebody, if you're void today, and you know what void means, glory to God, without, with, with, without space, okay, empty, you know, feeling desolate, glory to God, God wants to give you life, amen, a meaning to live. Remember we talking about purpose and destiny, we're talking about the now factor, Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. Purpose and destiny. Glory to God. And another thing that is revealed when we follow order is peace. Peace. Glory to God. A sense of security. Talking about peace. Glory to God. Just as God instructed Noah to bring all living creatures on the ark, including his family, the Bible says they all survived. Glory to God. They all survived the flood. They were secure. Amen. They were secure. 
Now, if any of you out there need peace, I'm just letting you know, God said, hear my instructions and live. We're talking about order. Glory to God. And those who just came on with me, we're talking about disposition of people and things in relation, authoritative command directions and instruction, requests is made, supplied or served. Order. And we know without order, as a result, there is chaos and confusion. I know some of you can detect that. Detect it meaning be a witness to it. You know sometimes you have been out of order. I know I have. Glory to God. I have been clean out of order. And God put me right in order. Glory to God. But that result, when I chose not to follow his instruction and his direction, chaos and confusion. That's all I had. Chaos and confusion. Sometimes we bring that on ourselves when we don't follow the order and instructions of God. Now, if order is not received, okay, and put into action, we're left with what? Ignorance. The word of God said my people perish because what? The lack of knowledge. We perish because of what we don't know and what we don't follow when we do know it. Stubbornness. Okay, when we don't receive and act out on order, God leaves us with ignorance. He leaves us with being stubborn. He leaves us with lack, without, mm -hmm. darkness and death. Glory to God. Now I know somebody might say, now why are you talking about death? It doesn't have to always be a natural death, but we're speaking spiritual death here. Okay, let God disrupt your lack of understanding. Let them disrupt that lack of understanding by what? Receiving order and acting out upon it. Let God disrupt your stubbornness, not wanting to take heed and hear his voice when you know he's talking to you. Come on, let's shine. So men may see our good works and glorify our father, which is in heaven. We're talking about the now factor. Whatever we're going to do for Christ, we're going to do it right now. This is our season to do it right now. We're going to be encouraged to do it right now. We're going to be inspired to do it right now. We're going to be motivated to do it right now. Glory to God. Let God also disrupt the darkness that may be leading you away from your purpose and your destiny and your ability to live your best life. Glory to God. I know not only me want to live the life that God has called for me to live, my best life, but in order for us to do that, we have to follow order. His commands, his instructions, his lead. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, a lot of us, in the, and when I say us, that means me too. I don't want no one to ever think, well, Minister Chandra, she on there talking about people. No, I'm included with you. We are in this thing together. That's why I'm here online with you today. That's why I'm on this live today with you to encourage you to be led by God. So you can shine once again so me, so me and me see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. We want to shine together. I don't want to leave you behind in this season. Glory to God and you ought not want to leave your brothers, your sisters in Christ behind. Your friends, your associates and your family. Glory to God. But we want to live our best life and let God order our footsteps. Come on. Let me encourage let, let me in, in, uh, encourage you and say, let God order your footsteps. The Bible declares it. Glory to God. In, Psalm, in Psalms 37 and 23, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delighted in his ways. Come on. Read that. For yourself, Psalms 37 and 23, okay? And listen, when we choose order and follow God's instructions and his commands, he delights in our ways. That's what I'm saying. He delights in our ways. And when God delights in our ways, glory to God, hmm, that's all that has to be said. Glory to God. We don't have to look for validation in somebody else when God delights in our ways. Because there's somebody out there, glory to God, are, uh, you are so concerned about people. You're so concerned about people. Let me encourage you today 
My prayer is for you that God deliver you from people. When God deliver you from people, you walk in your destiny. You walk in your purpose. You walk in order. Glory to God. I hear there is a way that is right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Remember I mentioned death, and I don't, I don't want nobody to take it as though I'm talking about a natural death. But remember, we're talking spiritual here. Spiritual death. You can read Proverbs 14 and 12. Remember that. Proverbs 14 and 12. You can always go back over this live and get anything that you may not have gotten. Please understand, this doesn't have to uh, be natural death, as I just mentioned. I want to make this thing clear. But spiritual meaning without cooperation. Somebody ought to just type cooperation. <laughs> that means a lot. I hear the word of God say we are co-laborers with God. Meaning, in order for God to move in our life, we must cooperate with him. Yeah. Somebody might say, well, how do I do that? Order, follow his lead, follow his order, follow his instruction. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it now so you can shine so men may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Glory to God. We want to cooperate with God so we could shine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We want to cooperate with what? His will for our life. Okay? So we do not have to die spiritually. Now, what's coming to me right now, and this is not even in my notes, glory to God. You remember in the, in the beginning, glory to God, in Genesis, glory to God, when Adam and Eve fell because they failed to, to, to follow the order and the instructions of God. God said, now you can eat everything in this garden, in every tree. You can eat it off every tree. But this tree, the tree of good and evil, you not to touch it. Glory to God. Because if you do, you shall surely die. They didn't die a natural death, but they died a spiritual death because why? They chose not to follow God's order. We don't want to have to die spiritually all because we don't want to hear God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm a witness to that. Glory to God. The enemy came after my purpose and my destiny. He came after my purpose and my destiny. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I'm telling somebody, you do not have to die spiritually. Because why? I did not die spiritually. Glory to God. God, hallelujah, told the enemy no. And that's what he's telling the enemy about your life, your purpose, and your destiny. He's telling the enemy no, you can't have my daughter. No, you cannot have my son. You cannot have her business. You cannot have his ministry. You cannot have his family. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anything that pertains to us, God is telling the enemy, no. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you do not have to die spiritually today. I'm telling you, you don't have to die spiritually. God has given us life and it more abundantly. Glory to God. I'm telling somebody, live abundantly today. God has already given us what we need to do so. As long as we follow his lead, follow his order. Okay? Spiritual death. We're talking about your gifts, your talents. Glory to God. Anything that God gives us to operate in order for him to get the glory. God wants some glory out of you. God wants some glory out of me. So that's why I say shine in this season. So men may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. We're talking about the now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. And as I mentioned before, that Proverbs 14 and 12, we want to be careful. Glory to God. I mean, I'm just trying to help us. We want to be careful not to think we know more than God. Yet, sis, I see you. We are going through because we wasn't listening to the sign he sent. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Glory to God. As I mentioned before, Proverbs 14 and 12, we want to be careful once again, not to think we know more than God. 
Glory to God. He said, I know the thoughts and the plans I have in store for your life. Once again, they are good. And it is to bring you to an expected end. We don't know our expected end. But if we follow his lead and follow his order, we'll know our purpose. We'll know our destiny. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If we think we know more than God at the end, come on somebody. It may look good at the beginning. It may feel good while you're in operation of that thing. While you're functioning in that thing that's out of God's order. But at the end, glory to God, we'll find out that we knew nothing. I hear in my spirit what prosperous a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. We want to do this. We want to be involved with that. We want to go here. We want to go there. But we are failing to operate in the order that God has designed for us to be, you know, to operate in. Our purpose and our destiny. Come on, somebody. Let's shine. So me and may see our good words and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Talking about the now factor. Whatever we are going to do for Christ. Let's do it now. I have a question for you. How many of us can be honest and say, God, I don't know. Now, this is the question a lot of us cannot ask. Why? Because we think we know. We think we know. But how many of us, glory to God, can say, God, I don't know. And that's what he's waiting on. He's waiting on you to say, God, I don't know. Because when you tell him you don't know, he'll begin to show you the sequence of order to follow. He'll begin to show you your purpose and your destiny. No. Glory to God. And when we find that we don't know, then we'll find the order that he has for us. Now, why do we need order? Let me share that with you. To avoid or prevent chaos and confusion. Remember I told you at the beginning about, you know, the individual on my job who I was trying to give order and instruction for him, uh, you know, uh, to that came from, you know, uh, management and leads. Okay. He didn't want to accept it. Glory to God. But what happens when we don't have order is chaos and confusion. That kind of sound like our, our country, right? <laughs> we are living in a day and a time of chaos and confusion. Glory to God. We need order. We need order in our lives. We need order in our household. We need order in our churches. We need order in our business. Glory to God. We need order in our mind, our body, and our souls to avoid and prevent chaos and confusion. I want to tell somebody, God is not the author of confusion. If there's any confusion in your mind around you, glory to God, a lack of peace, that's not God. I'm telling you right now, the Bible says God is not the author of confusion, but he's the author of peace. If you see that you have no peace, there's chaos and confusion all around you. Seek God's face. Seek his face. Glory to God. Why he may be found and call upon him while he's near. So you can shine. I can't, I can't say it enough. Shine so men may see your good works. And glorify your father which is in heaven. We're talking about the now factor. Whatever we're going to do for Christ, do it now. Glory to God. Yes, sis, we always want to blame the enemy. We need to stop giving him the strength and give it to God, and he is our God. That's right. And the question is, when are we going to do that? Yes. And like I said, we need order. We need a leader. You know, I, I mentioned chaos and confusion because that's what the time and the day and the dispensation that we're living in right now. We need a leader. Glory to God. And I want to tell somebody, glory to God, those of us who haven't voted, go out and vote. Glory to God. Somebody may say, well, our votes don't count this or that. Just vote. Glory to God. Just, just vote. That was something that was given to us, you know, through our ancestors, the right to vote. Let's vote. Glory to God. I encourage you, cast your vote. Glory to God. Cast your vote. Glory to God. Now, listen, if you're seeking order today, I just want to tell somebody, if you're seeking order if you're seeking instruction, direction, peace, you could start with Jesus Christ. Now, I cannot operate in the, in, the, in the things that God 
has given me to operate in if I leave his son Jesus out. A lot of times we see people, businesses, churches, we, we, we operate outside of the will of God sometimes and we leave Jesus completely out. I can't do that. John, the third chapter and the 16th verse, it talks about God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whomever that we are, if we just believe and not doubt, come on somebody, we shall not perish, but we shall have everlasting life. He gave his only begotten son. Without God giving his only begotten son, I have to, I, I have to tell you, we will not be here today. We have to give him the, 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 the space and opportunity, the, the, the glory and the honor that he's deserves the reverence that he deserves no matter what we do glory to god hallelujah so receive him today okay he will lead and guide you into all truth john the 16th chapter and 13 talks about that he'll lead us in all truth you looking for truth start with jesus christ start with him glory to god Hallelujah. God is the author and finisher, uh, and finisher of our faith. That's all we have today is our faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I was talking to God today on my job about how God, you know, saw, saw fit to, to accept Abraham's obedience as righteousness. It was all because of Abraham's obedience that God counted him righteous. Obedience is better than sacrifice. We're talking about order today. Order. Glory to God. And what is order once again? We're talking about disposition of people, things, and relationship together. We're talking about authoritative command, direction, and instruction. And request to be made, supplied, or served. Order. Glory to God. Also, God is telling us where, where, where you can find in Proverbs, the third chapter and the fifth verse, lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. We're talking about direction. Come on. Come on. Let's shine so we may see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Talking about that now factor once again, whatever we're going to do for Christ, let's do it now. Somebody say a directed path. Type a directed path. I don't know about you, but I need a directed path. Some, a, a place where I know that I'm heading. Some place that I can strive to get there. The word of God say, fight the good fight of faith. Paul said it, fight the good fight of faith. I'm letting somebody know we can't get there without a fight. So fight the good fight of faith. Glory to God. What a privilege. I want to tell somebody, what a privilege to see where we're going. That sounds simple, <laughs> but it's a privilege. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To see where we are going without a purpose. And without a destiny, we cannot see our path. Now, we ought to ask ourselves, where am I going? Where am I going? Do I have a destination? Or, or, or I'm just walking? And I have no destination. God wants us to seek his face for order, instruction, direction. Glory to God. To avoid and to prevent chaos and confusion. Glory to God. God want to give us everything our hearts desire. But it first has to come with lining up to his will and his ways. Order. Glory to God. Once again, we don't want chaos and confusion in this season. We have been through enough. I don't know about you. Glory to God. But I've been through enough. The enemy has stole enough from me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I am continuing to fight the good fight of faith. And I'm telling you, fight the good fight of faith and lean not to your own understanding. Once again, in all your ways, acknowledge him 
and he'll direct your path. Glory to God. And therefore, we can shine once again so men may see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. We're talking about that now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. Remember, to share this live, there is somebody out there that might need this. Glory to God. If you chimed in late with me, go back over and listen to the live. Glory to God. There is something in store for you. Glory to God. Leave me a message on my Gmail account, MissCCBrundage at gmail.com. And again, that is M-S-C-C-B-R-U-N-D-I-G-E at gmail.com. If what I'm doing for Christ right now, if it's touched your life, if, if it has encouraged you any way, if it has motivated you, inspired you to walk out in purpose and, and you're into your destiny, leave me a message and let me know. That would encourage me so. I always, glory to God, load my messages on my YouTube page. And this message today is just simply shine order. Put that in the search on YouTube and then you'll find my page and then you can subscribe and then you'll be able to have all those messages, glory to God, that I've always, you know, present to you. I'm so grateful for you, your time, your support. Thank you so much for your love. Okay, and I just appreciate you so much. So anytime, once again, you see me on live, chime in with me. And again, share, 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 share. I love you. Until next time, this is Minister Chandra Brundish on Shine. Glory to God, talking about the now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it now. Blessings and peace unto you.